Okay, uh, welcome back to the servlets demo. Uh, so in the first demo session, what we have seen is a simple hello world servlet example where the text hello world is being displayed on the screen from the servlet, right? Uh, now we are going to uh, take a step forward and in this session, what we are going to see is uh, the user is going to be presented with a login screen with username and password um, text boxes and a login button, okay? and uh, user can enter the username and password and when he clicks on login uh, the request is taken to the validate servlet where the user credentials are validated and if the user is a valid user the username and password are correct it forwards the request to a success servlet which then displays the message that the user has been successfully validated and logged in to the application message and if it was incorrect, the, the username or the password was not correct, then the control is forwarded to a failure servlet where the user will again be shown a message that the username or password is incorrect. Okay. So for this um, uh, session demo, uh, I'm going to do it completely in the uh, Eclipse IDE. Okay. So in this way, you will also be able to uh, know how to develop your servlet application using the ID and what features the ID has for you what features the ID provides you okay so let's start off we are going to create a new project okay and this is going to be a dynamic web project okay so we need to name the project give a name to the project so I'll say servlets project okay click on next and uh, select whatever default settings we have okay so here is it so let's see what the IDE has created for us we've got a Java resources source folder and this is the place where all the servlets and Java classes go into okay so you build all your servlets and Java code in here and the build folder has classes and this is the place where all your generated classes will uh, be put into okay and uh, we've got a web content folder where you can put in your html's jsps your web directional configuration file uh, etc okay so let's start off with uh, building our uh, login servlet okay so before i can uh, create a new servlet uh, I need to create a package. So I'll create a package where um, I'll add all my servlets to. So I'll call my package as uh, com dot dot servlets. Okay. So this is my package is created now, and let's create a new servlet in this package. So I'll say new, and I don't see servlets in this list here. So I say other and you've got a list of uh, folders here and options in which from which you can select but what I need is a servlet so in the web folder uh, I've got servlet I simply select that click on next and give a name to the servlet and the name would be login serve okay click on next and uh, you can see that it has uh, given a super class of HTTP servlet so my servlet would extend this uh, HTTP uh, servlet class okay and it is the URL mapping is login serve um, and this is the default I, I, I won't be changing it so my URL mapping for the servlet is uh, login serve so whenever this URL mapping pattern is matched my servlet is going to be called the login serve servlet is going to be called click on next uh, and uh, here you have all the list of uh, callback methods and the other options which you want um, uh, available in your uh, servlet class so if you see that by default the do post and do get method are checked so that means when my servlet class is created by the id i'll have a do get and do post method already in there right so depending on your needs you can check or uncheck the different methods uh, you want to have okay and simply click on finish and see what it generates for me okay so as you can see uh, that we've got a bunch of imports for servlets and then this is my servlet class which extends it to be servlet and implements servlet interface I've got a constructor 
and do get and do post is also there so all this code the ID has actually put in for me and uh, there's no real implementation in it so I need to put in all the logic business logic which I need uh, in these methods okay if you see here we've got a couple of errors here so it says that import uh, Java X dot servlet cannot be resolved why do you think uh, we got this error we got this error because we don't have the servlets jar file included in the class path for this project right for this web application so what we need to do is uh, add the servlet jar file to the class path to the libraries okay so let's see how do we do it click on the projects whatever project you're working on that is servlets project and then you have the project menu tab and click on properties in there you've got uh, java build path and uh, you've got a libraries tab there wherein you can add all the libraries which you want to be available to your project right and i'll say add external jar and my servlet uh, jar file is present in the tomcat lib directory right which we have already seen in the first uh, demo session so i'll simply select the servlet api jar file from there and add it to the library so if you see here it's been added to the list of libraries here click on ok <coughs> okay so now if you see that it's compiled the servlet class again and there are no more errors now all the errors have vanished okay. so looks uh, okay so I'll simply uh, copy the code which I've written for uh, the login servlet so Basically, I've uh, written the code for all the servlets uh, beforehand. I'm simply going to copy the code which I've written, and I'll explain uh, what the code does. Right. So there are uh, some unused imports which I'm going to remove. Okay. So if you see here, what we have is uh, package declaration with a bunch of imports which I'm using in my class. Then I've got my login serve class. Which extends HTTP servlet, right? Then, similar to the Hello World um, example, uh, I've put in all the print statements in each of the methods in this servlet class, right? So, I've got the constructor, the init method, the service method, wherein I'm calling the do get or do push based on the type of request, and I've got the do get method. So, in this do get method, I've put all my business logic implementation right I have got do post and destroy where I simply give the print statement so let's discuss what I have in the do get method so as we know that everything that goes into the outdoor print ln method is nothing but pure HTML so and we've discussed in the beginning that uh, in my web application the first page is going to be a login screen where the user will be presented with the username and a password right so I'm just going to build that screen on this uh, servlet page. Okay, so I've got the HTML tag, body element, and I've got a form element. So this is one thing uh, you might want to uh, make a take notice on because uh, you've got the method attribute here, which has a value of get. So that means the type of request this form is going to send is of type get. We'll just come back to this uh, in a while now. So the main uh, content of my uh, file would be uh, log the username and password text boxes and a submit button, right? So I'm going to put that in a table. Um, I've got username and I've got a input text box with the name username and the max length is 10. Again, similarly, I've got a password label and I've also got an input text box for password with a max length of 10 again okay and if you see here uh, the type of this input text box is uh, password so that means whatever I type into this text box will not be visible to the user you will get stars kind of thing on the text box okay. and you also have the submit button right so this is my submit button which is called with the name login right and uh, to the value of login as well okay so this is what is going to be displayed on the screen a username 
label with text box, a password label with text box, and a login button, right? So, what does this form mean? What does this whole line uh, form method is called to get action is called validate serve mean? So basically, whenever uh, in a web page uh, you have a submit button, and this submit button, as you can see, is inside this form, right? So this form starts here 